you can monetize any video, even demonetized ones, or channels that are not yet in the YPP with sponsorships. And I don't mean just affiliate links on Amazon, although those are good ways to monetize. I mean, taking content you already make videos about, let's say you're a Minecraft focused channel, and promoting things like the world's best Minecraft server hosting company with links that pay you every time someone buys a server by clicking your link. This is a very simple concept, and even PewDiePie, see, here's PewDiePie, his latest video has links to the things he loves. He drinks G Fuel, and he even identifies it as an affiliate link. If you click this link and buy G Fuel, PewDiePie will make a little more money. He talks about his chair, he talks about his Razer headset, he talks about NordVPN, which to me doesn't make much sense for a gamer like PewDiePie. But he offers you a 68% discount off a two-year plan if you click his link. And of course, PewDiePie gets a kickback. This is what I mean by monetizing any video on your channel. Pick companies and products that are about the content you already make and simply give your fans discounts by clicking the links in your video description. Another way is to take advantage of freedom sponsorships. We are paying you 110% for every video you make about games we publish. Go to www.tip.tm to read this blog post to learn more or click that eye to watch that video. And in three weeks, we are publishing our second game, Jetboard Joust Behind Me on Steam. This is a modern retro side scroller, fully action packed and very hard with big bosses and you will get a free copy of this game in addition to a 110% revenue share for this game if you cover it on your channel. We also sponsored people with ring lights and condenser microphones and free copies of Minecraft. And to get those sponsorships, just email support at freedom.tm and we will happily sponsor deserving channels. Let's say you don't like Minecraft or Jetboard Joust and you're covering Terraria or Rust, or Ark Survival, or Factorio, or any of these other games, CSGO Offensive. Each of these have affiliate links that let you make money for promoting the servers, the private servers for these games. And guess what? Freedom will bring them to you. We are in discussions to get you Play Now links for popular games like these. And if you put those in your video descriptions beneath your videos, then you will make money every time someone clicks them and gets that server. These are some of the many ideas that we have to get you more money, even if you're not monetized on YouTube, even if you're not in the 4K, 1K. And here's another crazy idea that we are kicking around. What if we pay you what YouTube would have paid you before they introduced the rule that no one can make money unless they're 4K, 1K. Let's say you have 500 subscribers and let's say you were making $2 a month. What if we paid you that $2 a month as YouTube used to? Would you like that? We're thinking of launching this partnership for all small channels, not in YPP, where we would basically become the YouTube for you and pay you for all your hard work until you finally do get monetized. Is that exciting? Tell me down there in the comments below if it is. Now I have a special guest host of The George Show that will talk to you about many other ways you can monetize your channel. And that special host is Anthony Smith, who's eating a cookie. Roll it. Oh, George, you're supposed to let me know when we're about to do this stuff. I'm eating here. <clears throat> Freedom. Let's talk about affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing may seem like one of those things where it's like, no, that's not for me. Or B, I'm not big enough to be able to take advantage of that. But you see, here's the thing. Affiliate marketing is something you can do even before d YouTube decides, hey, we're gonna turn on monetization for this channel. And if you choose your affiliate programs wisely, to a lot of users out there, it doesn't even seem like you're selling out because if you choose wisely, you never will. What if I told you that right now, for very little extra work, you could get random drops of anywhere between 15 and $100 in your bank account, all for taking out 30 seconds to talk about something that you actually care about or like. This is the world of affiliate marketing. Where many people go wrong with this is talking about things that their audience doesn't care about and that they don't care about. Look, I don't care how much some affiliate program pays, 
Sometimes you just shouldn't talk about it. Like for instance, there is no way on God's green earth that I am going to sell saddle soap. I have no need to sell saddle soap. And I don't care if you're going to pay me $100 every time I help you sell some saddle soap. If I'm being real with you, I don't even know what the heck saddle soap is. But one thing I do know is that people who own horses, generally speaking, have a lot of money. Because horses are expensive to maintain. And I'm sure horse products are like, really expensive. So a percentage of that would probably be nice. But still, my audience doesn't care about that. I don't care about that. And if I tried selling you saddle soap, it would come across as really disingenuous and nobody would care. However, if I told you that you could click an Amazon affiliate link in the description down below or some such, and you didn't even have to buy anything, you just clicked the link, you might, you might maybe do that. Or if I'm talking about some sort of a product that you care about, like maybe an audiobook on audible.com, you'd probably click on that, wouldn't you? Or if I told you that I found some kind of an amazing deal on eBay, you'd probably click on that. Affiliate marketing is not some sort of a get rich quick scheme. However, what it is, and what it should be, is something that you can integrate into your content to allow yourself to help, not only help your audience find things that they care about, find products that they love, but also to help them um, sort of help support you. One example is sometimes on my Amazon affiliate link, I will claim to be sponsored by something random. One time I said that I was sponsored by Tocino which is a certain kind of uh, a way to cook pork uh, that's very popular in the Philippines. So I said I was sponsored by Tocino and I found every Tocino related thing I could on Amazon and I put it all in one link. And that was funny. And nobody actually ended up buying Tocino. But one thing that did end up happening was that a lot of people uh, went to that link and they did end up buying other things and I ended up getting credit for that. Having a sense of humor about yourself and your channel can come out to be sort of a benefit, like that. And when it comes to affiliate links, not just because of laws and ethics, but because it's the right thing to do, which I guess would be ethics, you should be upfront and honest with your audience. You should tell them things like, you know, there's an affiliate link down in the description, which I always try to do. Um, let them know that they you know, are potentially clicking on an affiliate link. There are a million cool and funny ways to do this. Your, uh, your imagination can run wild on this and that's okay. Sometimes in my videos, and I actually made a mention of this a couple of videos back, sometimes I will claim to be sponsored by something random. Not because I have a sponsor for that video, but mainly because I do not have a sponsor for that video. Sometimes I'll say something like, this video has been sponsored by that feeling that happens when you're in the elevator and you want to talk to the person next to you, but you're scared that they don't want to talk to you. That awkward feeling, that awkward feeling is brought to you by this video. Which is really weird, like, you know, of course a video is not sponsored by some kind of awkward feeling or like, you know, burning your mouth uh, with a hot pocket or, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know. Like, sometimes I will do that just so the audience kind of gets used to, um, you know, me giving a sponsored message. Um, and on one particular channel many years ago, I had a fake sponsor for probably three months before I took on a real sponsor. And I did this mainly because the culture on YouTube at the time was very against it. So it allowed me to sort of build up that credibility and it allowed me to, you know, with my audience sort of build up that, uh, you know, sort of that, uh, that parlance, if you will. When it comes to affiliate marketing, there will be months where you make absolutely nothing or months where you, uh, you are underneath some threshold. However, most affiliate programs will allow you to, you know, sort of build things up so that, let's say if there's a threshold of, you know, $50, if that takes you three or six months to build up, that's fine. But you know what? Chances are, if, especially if you're really, really small, that like $50, that might be what you make in three to six months. Who knows? I guess the reason I'm trying to say all of this is just be realistic. I should also take this moment to go ahead and let you know that if you would have been following creators.vlog.tm, you probably would have gotten sort of the gist of this, the content that I used as sort of the, um, sort of the basis of this probably would have gotten it like a lot sooner. This video is kind of sort of in a way brought to you by creators.blog.tm. I say kind of sort of because I mean like, I can't, I can't really sponsor myself. So, you know. There are a lot of popular um, affiliate programs out there. A couple of which that I mentioned in the article down below um, at much greater detail than I will here would be like Amazon affiliates. Those are super popular because like if I, as a creator, 
you know, if you click one of my affiliate links, I don't actually have to get you to buy the thing that I'm sending you over there to look at. If you buy anything else within the next, I think it's 24 or 48 hours or whatever, I get credit for that. I got credit once because somebody bought Borax. Of course, I'll never know who that person was who bought Borax, but that doesn't matter. Like, what the heck even is Borax? For like tech or retro channels or people with like super niche interests, a lot of times, um, you know, that would be like, you know, eBay would be a really good choice for that. eBay has a uh, affiliate partnership and a lot of people don't even know about it. Skillshare is probably one that you're probably sick and tired of hearing. However, keep in mind as creators, sometimes we actually, um, we consume a lot more YouTube than the average person. So the people watching you may not be sick and tired of hearing it. They may also, who knows, your sales pitch for Skillshare.com might be the one that breaks them. Oh, golly gee, I done heard a whole bunch about this Skillshare thing and, uh, you know what? You make sense there, boy. I, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sign up for that Skillshare thing. Another super popular one is Audible. Audible stands for a usual dude is believably lame. Elmer, there's like 0.02% of you who get that reference. Totally worth it. At the end of the day, how you monetize your channel is entirely up to you. Um, I just, there are a lot of creators out there who they are genuinely convinced that they're too small for affiliate partnerships. They're convinced that they, you know, even if they did want to do it, they would not be accepted. They're convinced that um, people will revolt and stop watching their videos. Um, I mean, look, here's the thing. There was definitely that time here on YouTube. And a lot of it has to do with how you sort of sell it to your audience. Um, if you... If you do some of these things in a way that feels like selling out, they're probably, you know, your chances are a lot higher that they're gonna freak out. However, if you, you know, if you find a way that makes it, um, at, you know, that sort of integrates into what you already do, who you already are, um, something that makes sense for you and your content, the vast majority of people are not gonna give a flying flip. Just remember, try not to listen to that one opinionated douche if you have a feeling that you're dealing with one opinionated douche, take a step back. Think about it. Maybe losing that one opinionated douche is more of a favor than anything else. There was once a time on YouTube where people would revolt when people turned on ads on their videos. I use many of these and a lot more in my content. And a lot of the people that I deal with as far as consulting, they do as well. And I, look, I'm going to be honest with you. There are going to be months where you make 50 cents on, you know, some particular affiliate. And then there are going to be months where randomly you get like $200 and you're going, wow, somebody must have bought something when you're small. However, as time goes on, as the longer that that link is out there, the more people that click on it, the more people who help you out in that way, that's going to grow and grow and grow and grow over time. It's something that grows quite a lot. My question to you is, why have you not gone down in the description and clicked the blog post that goes into greater detail than this video? No, wait, that wasn't my question for you. I mean, I guess now it is, but my real question for you is, have you ever used an affiliate program such as this? If you have, what, um, what's, you know, what, what was it, your experience? Did you try more than one? My experience is that affiliate programs are kind of like stocks. You don't want to just go all in on one. You want to go ahead and spread that risk out and you want to go ahead and make sure that you have more than one ball on the court because some will pay out some months, some won't. Some will pay out on like a quarterly basis. Some will pay out, you know, just very quickly. Every program is different and every audience base is different. So go ahead. If I were you, what I would do is I would look up as many affiliate programs as possible. I would look at which ones make sense, which ones my audience would be the most interested in, and which ones speak to me personally. And then from there, I would go ahead and start making some decisions. I would read up on what's expected of me, what, uh, what I can expect from them, and so on. Build yourself like a Google spreadsheet so you know how often each one pays out, what the minimums are, so on and so forth, just to have all that information in one place and also so that you can put your custom affiliate links all in one place. But hey, that's me, that's if I was you. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. And in the description is a link to...
creators.blog.tm where you can read an article that goes into much greater detail than I did here in this video. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make me love my job. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye. Thank you, Anthony, for sharing your ideas on how to monetize channels with affiliate links. Click that eye to see the playlist of The George Show, all of the episodes that I made to help you grow in case you missed any. And who am I? I am that George of The George Show. I am Papa George, George Sun Pie, Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! <laughs> that freedom. For freedom and the Freedom family where we all help each other grow together as a family. And I hope you guys are starting your own blogs and getting traffic off YouTube to your own website where you can build an email subscriber list of your fans just as you're building a YouTube subscriber list of your fans on YouTube. That way you can do email marketing to promote your videos and other products or just interact with your fans outside of YouTube. I'll make more videos about OVOB, one video, one blog, the concept I've been talking about. And even Anthony Smith has his own blog. If you look at this link behind me, the link is actually down there in the description below to the creator's blog. This is creators.blog.tm. And this is where he writes about many things that he wants to teach you to help you grow faster, such as making more money on YouTube with affiliate marketing. Blogging is a great way to supplement your YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram strategies by writing compelling editorial text that gets Google SEO live, not just YouTube SEO love, so you get more views from Google searches. Here is my Google Site Kit behind me, a WordPress plugin that lets me see exactly how my WordPress blog is doing. This is tip.tm, and you can see we got 410 unique visitors in the first 30 days, 28 days actually, with an average of almost five minutes per session. That means people were spending almost five minutes who were visiting my blog, these 410 unique users. I think that's pretty good for a start. I'm really hoping it'll grow over time, and if you look at the chart, it is, it, is, it has its ups and downs, and these ups are exactly when I made a video talking about tip.tm. So you can see that power of promotion on YouTube to drive traffic to a website. I'll talk more about this in future episodes, as I said, Freedom Family. In the meantime, I encourage you to dabble with WordPress, and if you want us to power your own blog, just email support.freedom.tm, and we'd be happy to create one and give it to you for free for you like creators.blog.tm, but your name.blog.tm. All right, Freedom Family. If you like this video, oh, have you gotten your exercise today? I went to the gym for one full hour, and I feel so good after that sweat. I don't feel so good during it, because it's painful and, you know, sweaty when you are in the middle of the exercise, but I feel so good after. And I will do this every single day. My goal is to do it for 30, how to do 30. 30 days in a row. And so far I'm on day 10. So one third done. And then of course I'll continue. It's not do 30 and then stop, but it's a good first milestone. What's your goal, Freedom Family? How have you challenged yourself to do exercise? Tell me down there in the comments below. Let's motivate each other to stay fit and healthy, especially in these difficult COVID times. And if you like this video, click the like button so I know what kind of content you enjoy. And subscribe to Freedom Central, home of The George Show, youtube.com slash freedom. And gong that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. I am George, and you've been watching The George Show. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah.
click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.